from Chicago. It is gray and gloomy outside. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 11. I am getting ready now. If you watched yesterday's vlog, Vlogmas Day number 10, you would know I have airport standby tonight from 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. If you're new here, airport standby is just when flight attendants go to the airport, hang out, sit around, wait for crew scheduling to give them an assignment. It could be anything from a flight attendant's running late, so we have to go help board the plane, and then when the flight attendant shows up, we get to leave, up to the flight attendant caught out sick, or they need an extra flight attendant, so they add us onto an entire trip. Most most of the time, I don't really get anything off standby, but there has been a few times I've got stuff. I've even gotten international trips off standby before. That's how I got my Frankfurt, my Argentina. So you can get some really good stuff off airport standby. I don't mind sitting airport standby. I know there's a lot of flight attendants that don't like it, but at my airline, I'm super thankful because it's only four hours. My last airline, it was five hours, and I even know some regional airlines that have eight hour airport standby. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I would like eight hour airport standby. <laughs> but four hours is manageable. Honestly, I just hang out, get something to eat, go on my computer, go on my phone, maybe pre-board a flight, and sometimes go on a trip. It's really not too bad. It's still really early. It's only 3.30. I like to leave like two hours early, so I'd like to be out the door by like 4.30 at the latest, but it's looking like I'm going to be out the door by like 4. So I will have plenty of time to hang out once I get to the airport. I just don't like to rush, and especially with taking the train here in Chicago, it's kind of unpredictable sometimes, so you never really know if there's going to be delays. Sometimes it stops at a station for like 20 minutes, and you're like, why aren't we moving? So I just like to leave early, give myself the buffer time. Plus, from where the train drops us off to the crew room is a very long and time-consuming walk. So I just like to have plenty of time once I get there. Pretty much all my stuff is ready to go. Everything in my bag is packed from yesterday when I commuted up from Tampa. The only things I'm gonna add are my toiletry bag, and then I'm gonna throw my blazer in my bag, just in case the off chance I get an international trip tonight. We do have to wear a blazer for boarding and takeoff. I like to keep that in my bag, just in case, because you never know. Like I said, I've gotten a few trips off standby that were international, so you always wanna be prepared. Just finished getting ready, I opted for my black sweater today. I've been wearing my blue one a lot recently, but I was feeling black today. It's a little big, but it's comfy, so it kinda of feels like I'm wearing an oversized sweater to work, and I cannot complain about that. Look, it's literally 3.42. I told you I'd be out the door before four. Once I got to the airport, I headed straight to the crew room to check in. Then I just found a table, worked on my computer, started editing a new episode of Vlogmas, ate some french fries, and then I started watching the new Harry and Meghan show on Netflix. So I just came in the terminal and my airline has this really nice Christmas display. This is my first time seeing it because I haven't worked in like three weeks, but they have a bunch of trees, presents, a little fireplace, some more trees, and then over here, look at this gate area. It's all decorated for Christmas. I'm assuming this is where they did the fantasy flight. Look at this little house. How cute for Christmas. They have the poles decorated for Christmas. Snowflakes hanging down. Another tree. And then look how cute this is. It's decorated like the North Pole. So the gate that I was just showing you is actually where my airline has their fantasy flight every year. And if you don't know, the fantasy flight is something my company puts on every year where they invite kids with a terminal illness to come in, experience a day at the North Pole. They totally transform the gate area like you guys saw. And then they get a boarding pass to go to the North Pole. The kids get to go on the plane. And all of my coworkers that volunteer dress up as different characters. Spider-Man, The Incredibles, and then of course we have Santa Claus and his elves and the reindeer. And I saw a girl that I went to Tel Aviv with dressed up as Mrs. Candy Cane. And it's so special and so sweet and it's <laughs> gonna make me cry because it's just sweet and it's something they do every year for the kids and the pictures are just incredible. I'm gonna insert some pictures that I've seen from this year's event. You can see it's a really nice day for the kids and 
it just makes me so proud to work here. I wanted to come so bad this year, but I was on the cruise, so I wasn't able to, but I fully intend on doing it next year and the years to come, and those kids deserve it. All right, oh gosh. Now that I got all emotional over here, it is currently 8.20 in the evening. I have two more hours left on standby. So far, I know this is gonna jinx me, so I shouldn't even say it, but so far they have not called me for anything, not even a pre-board. I did see one of my classmates though, she went up and did a pre-board for Cedar Rapids, but that's it, there hasn't been too much else going on tonight. There is a London that's gonna start boarding soon. I would not be opposed to going to London tonight, that'd be a nice little Christmas trip. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna hang out, there's really not too much else going on. Honestly, I might just start editing this video, which is exactly what I'm doing. Welcome to Vlogception. My loyal subscribers definitely think I am not responsible, but I I do not know what it is with me and headphones. I left my AirPods in Amsterdam once. Then somebody stole my mini AirPods case in the airport. So I've been borrowing John's headphones, his AirPod Maxes. I just realized I left the case for these down in the crew room. So now I gotta go find them. Hopefully they're still there. It's just a generic case from Amazon though. So it's not like way expensive. If you remember when that person stole my mini AirPods case in the airport, I have to pay $100 to Apple to get a new case. Like seriously, $100 for a case? Okay, so the case was not in the crew room or in the employee cafeteria, which means it had to have fallen out of my bag on the train. I do not know what it is with me. I don't lose anything else, guys. I swear to God, I don't lose my phone, my camera, knock on wood, my computer, anything. But with AirPods, it's like I lose them all the time. Normal headphones, no issue. I don't know what it is with AirPods. I'm like cursed with them, I swear. I seriously have no idea where the case is. The only thing I could think of was it fell out on the train out of my bag. That is the only thing I can think of, but I didn't even see it on the train. That's the thing. No, you know what? There's no possible way that they fell out on the train because I put them in the case when I got off the train because I can't wear them in the terminal. So they've gotta be in the crew room. I'm gonna go to the lost and found next time I work. I'm sure it's in there. I don't think anyone's gonna steal that, especially another flight attendant. So there's a delayed Paris right now. I have to wait until it finishes boarding before I can leave standby, just in case one of the crew members wants to time out or they need to add a crew member to just help with the service to expedite it tonight. So it is currently 10.06. This is the last flight going out for the night, so once once this leaves the gate, I'm gonna call scheduling and then hopefully get to go home. For crew scheduling. Wow, the airport is like so dead from when I went over to that gate. On my way there, it was packed in here. And now it's like zombie land. Oh my gosh, I'm vlogging on my phone right now and I have my headphones on. I have no idea if you can hear me. Oh, I hate Chicago. I was walking across the street in a mother freaking rat ran across. I literally screamed at the top of my lungs. That's the second time that happened to me since being in Chicago. One time I was waiting for an Uber to go meet John and I had flip-flops on because it was still summer here and a freaking rat ran right by my foot. I literally jumped probably 10 feet in the air. I've actually seen signs here about the rats. Oh my God, he's scared. Well, I am back at our apartment now. Obviously, did not go to Paris, which I'm kind of thankful for. It is so cold outside. I can't believe I saw that freaking rat stove. So, so, ugh, I hate them. I was gonna cook, but honestly, it's really late and I'm not that hungry. And then I was like, oh, well, I could just like make like banana pancakes or something, but I'm just not feeling it. So I'm gonna put you on to one of my favorite snacks. This one specifically, the Lesser Evil brand. It's the Himalayan pink salt popcorn. We actually have this at work and it's really good. You can definitely taste coconut oil in it though, so if you're not a coconut oil person, I would steer clear of this, but I really like it. I also bought the cheesy version. I did not care for this at all. It's probably gonna end up in the garbage, to be honest. But these are a win in my book. So I think I'm just gonna snack and hang out for the night, take care of John. He's not feeling too well today, so I wanna make sure he's okay. So I'm gonna go tend to that and wrap up tonight's episode of Vlogmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I know I'm a couple days behind on getting back to your comments, but if you guys are OG subscriber, you know I respond to all of your comments, good, bad, ugly, whatever, and I've been getting some nasty ones this Vlogmas, but you know what? I will get to them eventually. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 12? 12. 12.